Hello, Creative Gems. Welcome to Creativity. How is everyone today? I'm Sandy, and today I'm going to show you how to make a stunning yet budget-friendly crystal chandelier table lamp in two different styles. To begin, I will show you the materials, and unless otherwise stated, all the materials are from the dollar store. First, we will need a lamp base. This one was purchased on clearance for $3 at an online warehouse sale. It has all the basic parts for a lamp base, including a receptacle at the top for a light bulb, a long cord, some feet at the base, and an on-off switch. You just can't go wrong paying only $3. We will also need a wired basket. This one is white from the Dollar Tree and you will see later how I bend it into shape to transform it into a lampshade. We will also need some hanging crystal garlands. These ones come with a jump ring in between each crystal bead and was purchased in bulk from Amazon. We will also need a few strands of silver beaded necklace, some round cut mini acrylic rhinestones as well as some medium sized acrylic diamond gems. Finally, for a second style for the lamp, we will also be using some holiday ornament balls with a chrome finish. I have selected three different sizes, all of which were purchased in the holiday section of the Dollar Tree. And to help us with today's craft project, we will be using some clear tacky glue as well as some hot glue. My hot glue gun was purchased from Amazon. Now on to the build process. First, we will make the lampshade. Take the wired basket and gently push the middle in so it tapers in toward the center, creating almost an hourglass shape. For this step, take your time to make sure that each side of the wired basket is evenly shaped so you don't have any sides that are lopsided. Leave the opening big enough as we will be in light bulb inside the basket. And while we work on this, I would like to take a moment to thank all the returning viewers to my channel for tuning in for today's craft project. If you are visiting for the first time, I would like to extend a warm welcome to you. And if you enjoy Glam Home Decor and DIY Crafts on a Budget, I would love it if you would support my channel by hitting the subscribe button so you can be notified of my future DIY craft videos. The wired basket, once shaped properly, will become the lampshade. To decorate the lampshade, we will be hanging the crystal garlands to the wired basket. We will have two sets of crystal garlands, a longer set of five and a shorter set of four. The number of strings of crystals you will need will depend on how far or how closely you hang them on the wired basket. At the end of each string of crystals, there should be a jump ring that we will use to attach to the wired basket. Along the opening of the wired basket is where we will be hanging the longer set of crystals. You can space out each string of crystals as closely or far apart as you prefer. For this step, it is very tedious and you will be giving your fingers quite a workout. So take some breaks and if you need to rest your fingers, do that as well. Once the first set of crystals are hung along the complete perimeter of the opening of the wired basket, we turn the basket upside down to hang the second set of crystal garlands. And here you can see I'm also adding extra embellishments by securing a couple of medium-sized diamond-shaped acrylic gems to the side hooks of the basket. But if your basket does not come with side hooks, you can skip this step. And here is what our lampshade should look like with two tiers of hanging crystals. It is already looking so beautiful, full of bling and glam. Now we set the lamp shade aside so we can start on the lamp base. First, we take a string of beaded necklace and wound it all around the lamp post. To ensure the beads don't move around, use small dollops of hot glue to adhere the beads to the lamp post. Next, apply some tacky glue to the base of the lamp post, all around the edge of the base. This is where we will place the mini rhinestone gems to create a border.
repeat the same steps to, to apply mini rhinestone gems along the inner portion where the lamp post is. Next is to insert the lampshade to the lamp post. For this, we will need to use a strong pair of scissors to cut a hole in the basket, just big enough so the lampshade can rest on the receptacle where the light bulb will be screwed into. Make sure you pre-measure the hole by using a marker to mark up the shape of the circle on the basket where you will need to cut the hole. The last step is to rest the lampshade onto the receptacle and then screw a light bulb in. And here you have it. Style number one for our elegant lamp is complete. However, we are not done yet as we have a second style to create. For our second style, we will be using three different sizes of ornament balls. The largest sized ones will be placed along the base. Here you can see I have placed a total of five. Once you're happy with the placement, use some hot glue to secure each one to the base. For the next level up, secure the medium size ornament balls followed by the smallest size ornament balls. You can see here they are being placed in a pyramid like fashion. And here is the final look for style number two of our elegant crystal chandelier lamp. Comment down below and let me know whether you prefer the simpler design of style number one or the more ornament ball design of style number two. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel and share with other creative gems. Also, remember to hit the notification bell so you can be notified whenever I upload another DIY glam project. I hope to see you all soon!